The canvas is the foundation of the garment. I like uh, a well constructed canvas. This adds, this does add weight to the, to the garment. These aren't light clothing. We're not pulling out the linings. We're not pulling out the interfacings in order to make it light and make it soft. I can, I can make those garments. I do make those garments, but that's a different, that's a different co coat. Uh, that's, that's for your, that's for your right to wear market. Like back in the eighties, we had uh, Armani pulling the, pulling the canvas out of there to make it soft through the front. But that isn't the essence of a handcrafted garment. A handcrafted garment has shape shape on its own whenever it comes onto the wearer. It complements his body but also enhances it by creating shape where there is no shape, particularly at the at the chest and the, and the, and the waist. This is, this is a nice lightweight canvas. It's tropical weight. I like to use a, a lightweight canvas even in the heavier coats. I like to keep it quite soft. We add a uh, hair cloth a wool hair cloth to the chest. This hair cloth has a spring to it, and that's what helps push our chest out. On the weft, it, it, it will accordion, allowing us to push our fullness in. So now if we base this on here, well, after we soak it, we're gonna soak it to shrink it. It's a, it sort of takes that finish off it, softens it up more. We'll take this and we'll, f we'll put fullness in here, which will help push our chest out. This is done out here. It's very light, it's very soft. We cut this on, we put this on in the bias. So we can put some, put a lot of ease into it, a lot of fullness. So we'll take this and soak it. We'll soak it in sort of like lukewarm water. Just like what you gave the baby in. in there and I'm just gonna... So I'm just gonna leave it in there. Alright, so our canvas is ready to come out now. Okay. I'm just hang it over a wire hanger. Ready to be left to dry. We're gonna move to cutting the linings next and get our RAF blue uh, lining here. I tend to use ermazine for most of my coats and uh, twills uh, for my overcoats. There are taffeters as well, but ermazine is the preferred because it's like it's like silk, doesn't it? Doesn't wear out. I suppose I did try to. And the cutters give me, you know, tail coats and dinner jackets. I think the more complicated garments, so I could try those out. We didn't have very many orders, but I did. I did a morning coat and an, an evening dress tail coat and a tux. I kind of like making those garments more than regular jackets. I think they pose more of a challenge. Well, it's more, ha it's more hand work going into it with those, with all of that lining. It needs to be hand sewn. And they look, they look more elegant as well on the wearer than any modern suit. I do try to capture it in my own coat in some small way. With the way that I cut them, you know, sort of accentuating the chest and having the lower waist, and keeping them close to the body, particularly on the back. Yeah, I like it to fit well at the back. So this is where I've marked this. This is where I'm going to machine it, machine stitch, into here, and then this will get folded into a plate, which will be make up the, will be the plate in the centre back. That's to allow movement.